Hello, boys and girls. It's good to be with you once again, and hopefully we'll be able to see you face to face pretty soon as we are able to start having church once again. I wanted to share a little sermon with you today, and I want to read to you from St. Paul's letter to the Ephesians, chapter 1. God worked in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly places, far above all rule and authority and power and dominion, and above every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in the one to come. And he put all things under his feet and gave him as head over all things to the church, which is his body, the fullness of him who fills all in all. You know what we're celebrating this week? Just on this past Thursday was Ascension Day, and we're celebrating that this weekend in our church services as well. Do you know what the word ascend or ascension means? It means to go up. Today we celebrate Jesus going up into heaven. Now normally, we aren't happy when someone goes away, but because Jesus ascended, went up into heaven, we know that he is here with us now. Where now? everywhere. You see, when Jesus was on earth, he didn't use his power to be everywhere. He chose to be in just one place at one time. But now, after he died on the cross for our sins and rose from the grave and ascended, went up to heaven, he uses all his powers all the time. So he's everywhere. In our reading today, St. Paul told us that Jesus ascended to rule over all things, and he fills all things. But he especially fills us, his church, all who believe in him. Without Jesus filling us, well, we're kind of like this empty balloon. The Bible tells us that we were dead in trespasses and sin like being empty. But when Jesus came to earth, all he did all those wonderful things for us. He died on the cross for all our sins. He rose from the grave and ascended into heaven, where he rules over everything. Now you and your parents and all of us in his church are filled with him. Beginning at your baptism, you were brought to faith in Jesus as your Savior. And you hear God's Word in church and in Sunday school and your family devotions, and the Holy Spirit continues to fill you with faith in Jesus. You are now part of Jesus' church, filled with Jesus. The church is the fullness of Jesus. And it's, it's the fullness of Jesus here on earth. And he rules all things for us. And because we are filled with Jesus, we will rise up, ascend, to be with Jesus in heaven someday. Now, isn't that something to be happy about? That's why we celebrate Jesus' ascension. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for coming to be our Savior and for ascending into heaven to rule over all things for your church. Thank you for filling us with faith in you through your word and for now filling us with new and eternal life. Amen.
God bless you.